You may or may not have seen Will Smith recently posted a photo in front of his old kingdom. 30 years after Will starred as the fresh prince of Bel Air that made him who he is today, he's giving fans the chance to book the famous abode on Airbnb. The classic white mansion in the Fresh Prince where Will's character lived with his rich aunt and uncle is arguably one of the most recognizable homes in pop culture. It's an estate I'm sure we've all wished we could visit and if you can make it out to LA in time to book a stay, stay tuned because today we're taking a look. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air was an American sitcom that originally aired on NBC from 1990 to 1996. It was created by Andy and Susan Borowitz and starred Will Smith as a fictionalized version of himself. He was a street smart teenager from West Philadelphia sent to move in with his wealthy aunt and uncle in their Bel Air mansion after getting into a fight in his hometown. However, his lifestyle often clashes with the lifestyle of his upper class relatives. The Fresh Prince ran for 148 episodes over six seasons and there was the desire to go longer, but Will wanted to move on to other things in his career. Regardless, fans of the show are happier than ever considering the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion special is set to stream on HBO Max this year. The surviving cast and original will be taking on their same roles. Like I mentioned decades later, the Fresh Prince himself has teamed up with the vacation rental company Airbnb to rent out a portion of the famous mansion that was used as the exterior for the hit show. We can see Will is excited about it from his Instagram posts. With its rounded balcony, lush topiaries and colonial style windows, the property has always been a masterpiece. But there are a couple things to note about the Fresh Prince house. Firstly, it's not actually located in Bel Air, California, but instead located in Brentwood, California. And like most shows, the interior scenes were filmed on a specially designed set, not inside the mansion. However, once you see the Fresh Prince mansion in current times, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one is going to be a little different because in honor of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air's long awaited reunion and the famous mansion from the series being up for rent, that's exactly the home we're going to look at. So if you live too far from Brentwood to visit, don't worry because we'll take a look at all the rooms in their glory. If you like this video, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss one. We've also done a bio on Will Smith if you want to learn more about the Fresh Prince in real life as well as other celebrity house tours and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we get into the details of the home, for those who aren't too familiar with The Fresh Prince, the theme song and opening sequence set the premise for the show. If you know that, then you get what the series is all about. Will is a street smart teen, West Philly born and raised while playing street basketball. He misses a shot and the ball hits a group of gang members, causing a confrontation that scares his mom. She sends him to live with his wealthy aunt and uncle, the Banks family in the posh hood of Bel Air, Los Angeles. It's not too far from Will Smith's actual life if we're being honest because he too grew up in West Philly but moved to LA full of charm and talent ready for Hollywood. But anyways, back to the Fresh Prince. Will, the TV show version of him, ends up clashing with the upper class world of the Banks family in humorous ways due to his working class background. Will's uncle Phil and Aunt Vivian and their children, Will's cousins, spoiled Hillary, entitled Carlton, and impressionable Ashley. The lavish mansion used for the exterior shots of the Banks mansion is a house located on North Bristol Avenue, Los Angeles, which was built in 1937. As I mentioned, this home is actually in Brentwood, not Bel Air. Interior scenes were shot on a sound stage on pre-made sets like any show. After season one, the mansion sets were completely rebuilt. In season two, the kitchen and living room sets were made much larger with a more contemporary style as opposed to the formal layout of the first season and were connected directly by an archway. This allowed scenes to be shot continuously between sets. Any fans of The Fresh Prince, if you ever wished you could visit this iconic house, now Will is making that possible. According to the Airbnb listing, he himself is the host, so I guess he can add that to his resume. Starting September 29th, five one night stays for groups of up to two people will be made available where you can stay in his TV kingdom, or rather a private wing in the bank's mansion. Each stay will cost 30 bucks a night in honor of the show's anniversary and will be open to Los Angeles County residents only, so if you're not included in that group, Good thing you're tuning into this. The five stays will take place October 2nd, 5th, 8th, 11th, and the 14th. And according to Will's listing, he says, Remember, these one-time, one-night stays are not a contest. 
easier said than done. The Fresh Prince Mansion is located in Brentwood, Los Angeles, which is another nice area on the west side of LA. There isn't too much difference between the two places, except Bel Air is hilly and Brentwood is flat. The producers likely chose this house because it looks upper crust and conservative, and it's a very old school American house. Since the Fresh Prince was a set, the living room, kitchen, pool house, and the rest weren't real, but looking at the photos of the place, you're in for even more of a treat. Imagine the Fresh Prince house was modernized and upgraded. This is what you might get. On Airbnb, a Will says, Ready for the freshest staycation ever? If this place looks familiar, that's because it's just as fly as when I first rolled up the driveway. I'm back, and this time I'm handing you the keys so you have my wing of the mansion all to yourself. But my sneaker collection is off limits, aight? According to Realtor, the mansion spans 6,438 square feet with five beds and five baths. The home seems to be a neoclassical style, slightly colonial, with a columned rotunda right at the front entry. It kind of has that White House look. A stay in the mansion offers access to what would have been Will's bedroom and bathroom on the show, or what he says is his wing of the mansion. Not to mention, you can enjoy the poolside lounge area to go for a swim, the outdoor patio, and the ritzy dining room. Guests will be greeted by bold graffiti art, posh interiors, family portraits, and of course, Philly cheesesteaks served on silver platters. The vibe here is a definite nod to the 90s sitcom, so you could really take a trip back in time and feel like the Fresh Prince. While you won't have access to the kitchen, all meals will be provided and served on those silver platters. Guests are able to have a fashion show though, as they're welcome to go through Smith's wardrobe and epic sneaker collection. Or according to Will's listing, royal perks include lacing up a fresh pair of Jordans for shooting some b-ball in the bedroom. So as you likely guessed, the bedroom has a basketball hoop. Not to mention the closet is stocked with fresh prints looks from Argyle prepster to all-star athlete, which makes for a great Instagram photo shoot. The mansion has a lavish master suite with fireplace and even a games room with foosball table and piano. For entertainment, there's a turntable similar to DJ Jazzy Jeff's, where you can spin throwback classics all night if you choose. You can also soak up the sun outside or indulge in a swim at the pool. DJ Jazzy Jeff will even virtually welcome you to the poolside area if you want to catch some rays. And don't worry, the Fresh Prince Mansion kept social distancing protocols at the top of mind. Comfort and safety is a priority for this staycation and will assure us guests will have a wing of the manor to themselves from check-in to check-out with no other guests around during the stay, not even a family member from Philly. The Airbnb listing also reads, and you can rest easy in your prince or king size bed, knowing that I've committed to cleaning prior to your arrival in accordance with Airbnb's enhanced cleaning protocol, which is informed by guidelines from the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So you're safe by the sounds of it. Finally, Airbnb will also put some of the proceeds towards a one-time donation to a local organization from Will's hometown, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Philadelphia. This program supports youth, including those in the greatest need, offering skill building and development programs, recreational activities, and more. For fans outside of the Los Angeles area, it sucks that you can't book a stay, but DJ Jazzy Jeff will alternatively offer an Airbnb online experience where he'll teach some tips and tricks for DJing. Fans can request to book the $100 session online with the actual event taking place on October 1st. Alright, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. I think I've given you all the details possible about the iconic Fresh Prince of Bel Air Mansion, or rather the one that's actually a house, not just a set. To see any more of the place, you're just gonna have to book a stay yourself, which seems like it might prove slightly difficult. Also, 30 bucks sounds like a steal. Until the Fresh Prince reunion airs this year, that might be all we get to see of the Banks Mansion. What did you guys think? Did they do a good job decking the place? out like the Fresh Prince or is it not the same? Would you guys want to spend a night there? Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like down in the comments. I also recently launched a personal channel so if you want to get to know me better, watch my latest vid and subscribe. Here's a clip. While it might look like lingerie, I promise this is a dress. I'll let you in on a little secret. If you ever want a bikini like this and you plan on wearing something this flashy, I got this from AliExpress. It was like 10 bucks and that's one of my secrets. Something that I would wear to a beach party or beach club. I was actually saving this for Vegas. It's from Fashion Nova, but I didn't get to travel this year, so this would be a blast from the past, but I still think they're hot. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is up next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.